guys welcome back again to my youtube channel it's maria david here again and i am back with another video so if this is your first time from joining my channel you're welcome and if this is your first time you're welcome back to my channel okay so today i'm going to be teaching you how to make immune booster tea this period you need to boost your immune system it is a must you know you have to it is a power it is a necessity for you to boost your immune system and i'm going to be telling you some teaching you very very simple tea but in a detailed way okay so yeah i'm going to be showing you how to make this immune booster tea you can call it immune booster tea you can call it drink you can call it anything you can take it at any time of the day okay let me let me just this video <laughs> All right, so first off, you must have a boiling, you must boil your water. And the water I used was about 50 CO, yes. So I use pure water, sachet water. If you don't have sachet water, just measure 50 CO inside your pot of water. And while that water is boiling, okay, I'm going to be going ahead to slice my abs and I'm going to be using turmeric first guys i'm using turmeric because turmeric is a very natural spice and it boosts the immune system in a natural way so when you add turmeric to your diet or anything it actually helps you to reduce flu and also give your immune system a very very lifty boost okay so as after washing the turmeric thoroughly, because I know some of you will still come and say, Why didn't you use glove? Why didn't you use glove? When I, please, my hands are clean, okay? And I'm, I've actually washed the turmeric before I even come into this video, but I want to even still show you people that I have washed it because I know, I know, I know you guys, okay? So, is it that you slice it with your knife or you grate it with your hand grater? So, me, I am grating it, okay? So, yeah. Into my turmeric. So if you don't want your turmeric to really stay in your grater, the best thing for you is to freeze it inside your freezer first. Let it be frozen before you grate it. Then it won't stain your your grater. Okay, yeah, that's a trick. <laughs> Next thing we are using is ginger. Yeah. So before I tell you why I'm using ginger, first of go and like this video. Just click that like button, that thumbs up that you are seeing up there just click it and if you have not subscribed please guys subscribe to my youtube channel okay subscription is free it's very very free just subscribe and click that notification bell so that when i post you get notified okay so why i'm using ginger because why i want to use ginger <laughs> for god's sake ginger is an antioxidant like it's very very good inside your immune booster see it also it also helps to boost your immune system okay so as first, I'm going to wash this ginger. Okay, showing you guys how to wash it. Not showing. <laughs> I'm not showing you guys how to wash it anyway. I'm showing you guys that I have washed it. Okay, so this time around, I'm slicing my ginger. I'm slicing it to a very tiny kind of form. Yeah. So, uh huh. So guys, when I was cutting my ginger, I, I remember that. I remember a comment that keep popped up on my notification that someone was telling me ash why didn't i wear glove in one of my juice video and i just died laughing because really if you're in the kitchen do you use hand glove i don't get it like why should i use hand glove when i'm in the kitchen when i'm cooking i don't yeah i don't know so so far your hands are clean so far everywhere is neat it's all why should you use hand glove when you are cooking <laughs> Anyways, let's go back to the video. So guys, yeah, our water has boiled. Yeah, and I forgot to tell you guys, make sure your lights, whatever you're using to cook, either your gas, your whatever fire, <laughs> even though you're using firewood, just make sure it's on the lowest, as in very, very low, medium low, or lowest it's sha. Just make sure it's low. So after that, we're going to be adding the turmeric and the ginger inside the boiling water. This time around, we're not going to boil it. We're going to leave it open for like 10 minutes. So that's why I'm telling you, make sure it's on the lowest. It's more like, like it's your steam in it. Okay. After that, I added the I added my cinnamon stick, very small portion. If you know you don't have the stick cinnamon or you have the um powdered form, very good. Just use teaspoon a teaspoon one teaspoon of cinnamon and add it to it it helps 
with its turmeric as well okay so we're going to still leave it there while it's boiling and add our pepper i'm going to this one is actually option now the pepper i'm going to, i added black pepper like cameroon pepper here in nigeria that is why i added so if you know that you don't have black pepper you can use chili pepper if you know you don't even like pepper you don't like well i just like it and it's really really good it helps okay so it's optional though but it helps so if you know you don't want to add the, you don't have the black pepper just add the red pepper and that's it okay so guys if you have lemon peel lemon peel or lime peel but preferably lemon peel this is the best time to add your lemon peel inside i don't have my lemon peel peel when i mean lemon peel the back that has that white part of it which is that's what you add to it but i don't have it so i'm just going to use the lemon juice later on okay so but if you have it it really helps and it works better okay you know what and what i added inside this recipe i'm going to put it down in the description box so i'm going to put everything i did everything i said in this video in the description box okay so if you are confused or you don't know what and what i added at a point just go to the description box and everything is there yeah so guys it's 10 minutes now and everything is ready i don't have a perfect strainer if you have a good strainer than this this one is not a good strainer i wouldn't like to you guys but that's what i have at the moment and that's what i've been using okay so i just had to strain you have to take out those things the uh, turmeric the, the ginger everything just take it out by straining it all you need is the juice the liquid form okay that's all you need okay so i'm going after straining it straining it i'm going to show you what i got so guys this is exactly how our juice or our tea looks like yeah i had to increase the brightness because everywhere was already getting dark and guys really at this moment i'm filming this video and same time i have to get light because there's no light you know that's just a story for another day so yeah this is how it all looks like as i'm telling you now my kitchen is smelling so nice and what's inside that glass cup is my lemon juice i'm going to scoop out your lemon juice i preferably one lemon okay so you scoop it out and put it inside your tea and this is only when you want to drink it at the moment don't put it when you're not ready to drink it okay if you're making larger quantity that you know that you want to keep inside your refrigerator or yes you can keep in your refrigerator for at least three days so once you've strained it the best thing is for you to put it in your fridge like that so when you're ready to drink all you need to do is add your lemon juice inside so guys make sure everywhere is clean you're dealing with turmeric turmeric stains anything stainable <laughs> so make sure you have your service with you cleaning every mess you're putting on the table or whatever you you're using it so i'm going to be adding few drops of honey yeah inside it i'm going to show you guys the honey i'm using i'm using the forever bee honey it's almost finished but i'm going to use it to the last grain <laughs> so that's what i added to it you can also add any original honey inside it it's very very helpful as well so i'm going to be adding coconut oil this coconut oil is option now if you don't like coconut oil if you are allergic to coconut oil inside your drink do not add it to it okay it's very very optional so i'm going to be adding a few drops of coconut oil inside this my drink and guys please note that this is this drink i'm about to take it right now that's why i'm adding this turmeric inside if you know you're not ready to take it now once you're done steaming on the fire all these other additional ones should be added if you want to take it immediately okay i'm going to put my cinnamon stick this is just semere if you know you don't need it <laughs> if you know you don't have it there's no problem just put it and you're ready to drink okay i want it to cool down a bit because it's, it's still a little bit hot so i want it to cool down a bit so that i can take it asap so yeah this is where i'm going to end this video and thank you guys so much for watching to the point and i'll see you guys in my next one bye